Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at Key Mesh. Now, the reason why we're taking a look at Key Mesh is the update that has been done to this tool. Previously, we had seen this tool, but we really didn't talk about it due to the fact that it was, you know, hash and hash set to be under development and no one really knew what was happening with it. Now, first things, we did think that this tool was going to be shipping with Blender 2.82 but then it didn't happen. Blender 2.83 seems to be coming out and there is still a brand new tease that is now here. Now the brand new tease that has been seen on Pablo's The Barrow's Twitter page is more likely to be a tool that would definitely come with a new extension of Blender. Probably this might ship with Blender 2.9 or maybe it might ship with the next version of Blender. But it's really cool to see that this tool has huge potentials and anyone who wants to use it might probably find this very, very interesting to work with. Now, just in case you have no idea what this tool is, this tool is a tool that simply enables you to keyframe individual you know sculpt or should i say you can sculpt on different frames at different times so by default you know how you do your frame by frame animation which produce some sort of stop like animation or you know a kind of traditional clay kind of animations you know setting this is something that is now being implemented in blender so Take for example, you're trying to create a stop animation, but this time instead of working with clay with your bare hands or instead of doing a frame by frame animation with, you know, a 2D paper, you can now implement that same idea in 3D and you can now implement this in Blender. So as of last year, we did see these and everyone was thinking that, okay, this looks really cool. But before you know what was happening, the cloth brush showed up and the cloth brush just simply seems to have brushed a couple of things aside. Then we had the IK brush, which seems to have had a huge impact on what people were actually working with. Now, over the period of time, we really didn't see a lot of talk about this. We saw some other updates, but with this coming out now, I have a very strong hunch that these might probably be available very, very soon. So I don't really know if this is going to be for 2.9, but you know, we, we got the first tease, you know, very close to the end of 2019. We're getting the second tease now. And since Pablo is working on this, he's not just working on it alone. He is working alongside Daniel, you know, Martinez Lara. You know, these two persons are kind of combining their energies together to get this thing going. And what's actually phenomenal about this is you are really creating every single thing on exactly the same mesh. So let's say you start off with a cube or you start off with a sphere. You are still creating all of this animation on the same mesh. Of course, they are having distortions over time but it doesn't change the fact that you're creating this on the same mesh. So a very good example is after you're done making your animations, you can choose to throw in modifiers. And once you scrub through the entire animation timeline, you can see that these modifiers also apply. So this is definitely going to change uh, the, you know, the way a lot of people will work. And for those who have actually wanted to see or, you know, get into working with stop animation kind of feeling in blender i think this is going to even get them way closer to what they want to achieve so if you take a look at what you can get with this directly in blender you can see that is you know it just simply makes a lot of sense and at this point i guess most of the sculpting tools updates are just simply building to a very good you know point for this so we've seen updates to the layer brush we've seen updates to the clay brush we've also seen a couple of updates and when you take a look at the present demo that they have here you can see that we're not just doing all of those stuff the present color paint brush that is being worked on right now in blender can also be seen in this demo so does this mean that we're going to be getting this tool with the next update or you know with the next release of blender i don't know i actually think that maybe some of these brushes that we're getting to work with would actually help working with this tool come to life Recently, we talked about the multi-res that will be coming to 2.9 and there's just a lot of things that they haven't said about 2.9 and I kind of have a hunch that this might also be part of the tools that will be coming. Maybe this might support face set. Hopefully, we don't know. Maybe this might actually support something else. 
but for the most part we are just stuck with you know believing that this is going to be way better than the shape key that already exists in blender and another beautiful thing here is you can simply get your own rig and you can link up your rig and reshape the model to get something happening and you can simply you know blend things together get your real-time preview and actually have fun working with this lovely clay like animation tool that will be coming to blender pretty soon and yeah i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section what do you think about the brand new tool what do you think about this update what do you think about the implementation tell me what your thoughts is in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with your tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace